Hello and welcome and today we are servicing this Toyota Camry cars and this year models are two in 1992 to 2002 and then we continue. Hello and welcome my friend, how are you doing? And next I like to show you that how to replace this Toyota Camry cars, cars, this rear areas, suspension, part what is this anti stabile anti stabilizer push and there are two push in this my car's back area and this rear area and there goes bar and these parts burn out when we have drive something like through, through I believe that 200,000 miles and something like 300,000 kilometers and then we need to replace this part and this part is specific Toyota's original part and here is actually this part number also and this is made in Japan and uh, at this cost about I believe that 20, 20 US dollars per piece and this is like uh, 30 to 40 US dollars this parts 20 dollar that one and 20 that one and they are similar similar parts and in euros I believe that same 20 euros and 20 total budget is 40 and then we go to replace those and let's go to look that next okay and now when I am planning to replace those rear areas those anti-stabilizer push we need to first look that this is uh, right wheel and there is left rear wheel and then when we go to look this areas we can see that in this point there is this push in here in that point that I need to open these two bolts in here and then it goes out and then when we look at another side there is also the second push in here and I need to open those two bolts next and I take my tools and then we continue okay and for that opening because there is this bolt we need this 12 1 2 millimeter socket what fits in here in that way it is now in this position and then I need also there is idea that I need a little bit longer bar that it is easy to open in that way now there is this rod and then all, of course a little bit longer tool that I can open this easily. And now I insert that my tool in this position. It is in here in that way and there is this my thing and then I only rotate in that way. This is the opening direction. Start in here this is, this is start point and then end. Okay and that way and then we can look also this little bit closer this thing that what is looking like when I take a little bit better view that we can look also in that position and in here I continue this opening this is like start now I am rotating and then there is the second bolt it is in a little bit in this other side it is in this position and then I take a little bit better view we can see that there is this bolt and now I am inserting this tool in that way and then I open and, and then I take this bolt bolts away in that one and that one and then we continue okay and now this, these bolts are quite loosened and I can use my finger and there is this first bolt and then in that area I take also similar bolt away and now when I move that rod I can I can a little bit bend that thing 
and then this part I can take this part away easily and, and there is this old part and now, now this support frame opens and remember that this frame comes in that position in here that this hook is in this front area and then I can I can take that old part away and we can go to loop this new part. Okay, and then we compare this. This is new new part and there is this old push. That what there is difference between these two. And, and first one, the biggest difference is this central hole. Look, that old one holes is much more bigger. And this is this new one. And that's, I can throw that in trash box. And this is, this is the biggest issue that this hole becomes, becomes uh, more bigger when, this, when we have drive a lot of this car. Okay, and then we go to install that new part back. Okay, and now I am installing this new part back. And there is idea that in this but there is number 16 and when the 16 is, is so in this upper area this is the right way and this hole in here it comes in this down area and then I only I only do so that I first little bit clean that area in that way and then then I little bit I make this bigger in that way and then there is this my part, this support metallic frame, and this hook goes in this front area in here. And let's look that can I insert I only press that here that way and then then I can connect here. Yeah, good. It it goes very nicely in that way. And next I take my bolts. And if these bolts are very old, I recommend to put say new bolts in Toyota dealership and then I lift that and look this area. This must be in. Okay. And I and if we have difficulties to install, we need to only lift up this this anti thing bar in here, upper one. But normally this this pulse goes nicely and this is like now in place. Good. It is in position. And in here. And then I need to insert that front pole also. And when I have installed this, then next part is to fasten those bolts. Okay, and now my bolts are back, and then I take again this my longer tool, and there is my friends, and I insert that in here, and then I then I fasten this, this and this, this work goes quite nicely. And if you look in here, there is this my tool. And in here I fasten. Good. And then I fasten also this front front this bolt too. There is this my side. And there is this, this one. Okay. Then we Fasten these bolts well and not too much force, something like 60 Newton is this dog reference amount. And, and when we are using this smaller line, we can use only that small line friends. Good. 
And now this replace is ready in here and then I need to replace in same time that other side too in here and I will do that next. Okay, thank you for watching video and have a nice day to you.